you got? Where have you gone? Where have you gone? Good. Let's should we do it? Should we do a Sandra? Good afternoon. Good evening. Good morning. Where are we, Lee? I have no idea. Sutton on Sea. You've got to get used to these names, aren't you? You know, like where Timpley is and Altingham and Manchester and Sale and Bowden and Broadheath. All this is all new, isn't it? Yeah. And what 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 are we doing in um what are we doing in Sutton on Sea? We're going to get a take out. Where are we going to go? I have no idea. We're going to go to Square Pizza. A pizza square. Do you, do you, do you know what they specialise in? Pizza. Yeah, but what kind of what what what, what shape? Square pizza. Square pizza. Seriously. So I think we're going to have a mixed kebab each, aren't we? Yeah. Dad's Dad's treat, and then um, we'll be back. We'll be back down to frozen pizzas from now on. No pizza square. There you go. That was quite quick and easy, wasn't it? You're looking forward to this. You've not yeah. had one of these yet, have you? Well, it could be Lee. Could be the next big thing, you know. Right, we need to give a super thanks. No, we don't. We, we don't really need to give a super thanks. We need to give a thanks, Lee. To can you remember who? Peter Webster. To Peter Webster, who just sent over a super thanks. Um, Peter, if you think you're behind, as you're seeing this, you'll see how many days behind I'm running. Um, to when you sent a message, going, you're running behind. But uh, yeah, thanks, Peter. Um, much appreciated that. Right, back to the uh, back to the site and get tucked in. Uh, another day, another Warasha walk, uh, and another cloudy day, but it's not raining. Uh, right, so today I'm hoping to mark out, or well not mark out, but put some posts back in for some of our pitch dividers with jute rope. Come on, Russia, what are you doing? Russia, this dog's, this dog's going what she's doing um uh, yeah uh, get those laid out i've ordered some new rope and some of the uh the old rope had deteriorated and everything so i'm hoping to get that done this morning and um and this afternoon if things go to plan i'm going to i come this way Russia. <laughs> um, I want to go out and take Lee somewhere else that he's not been before so as I say with Lee uh, well and Sandra to some extent everywhere around here is new so I just want to get them familiar with what's uh, what's what and then as I'm recording this it's two days until I get the keys to the new bungalow and then that afternoon or stroke evening is going to be a mad couple of hours trying to get stuff if my plan goes together to get stuff out of the um out of the storage right it's another rasher poo finally got it i keep saying i'm sure this mower shed has got darker this year for some reason right Phew. Oh. a fair few things going on here so i'm just going to open this up and then um Dunk. It's cottage turnover day today as well, which is always a, a little bit of a bedlam day as I'm in and out helping get the uh, bedding in washing machines and dryers and things like that. And at the moment, we've got no sunshine. It's very grey. Um, Peter Webster, I need to do a big thank you for sending over a super thanks, Peter. Um, that's so kind of you and absolutely lovely. And Michael Lutas uh, as well. Michael, thank you ever so much for sending over a coffee and... Love to read all your kind words and everything. Um, me missing all in that one I found the other day and me poles are over there. So at some stage over the next couple of weeks, that can go into our new property. Um, I've got hanging baskets here for that part of the cottage. As we get into um, more springy, warmery type bedding plant sort of weather, that needs doing. This is a box of my own bits to go to the bungalow. And I've got a big absolute mystery. I saw the other day a small packet of panel pins that I need. And as ever, as ever on this bench, I've got no idea how, but things just, poof, they just randomly disappear. One minute they're here and one minute they go. Um, oh, it's a mystery. Right, there goes my phone. Always, every time I get the video out, 
There you go. Go. You've got a new title today. You're no longer the driver's mate because you've got a one-way ticket doing that job, haven't you? What, what, what's your job title today? Campsite warden son. Right, and we're going to be doing some campsite wardening work. Yeah. Right, can you remember? Um, so I've got a list of jobs we're going, to, we're going to crack on with. Can you remember what we're going to do? Can you remember any of them? No. You can't remember any of them. Got out to the dog bin. I've j- jumped on the bins. We've got the pitch ropes, the pitch dividers. We need to re-rope up and get the stakes in. We need to go and check the hot tub in the cottage. Uh, what else was there? Oh, we need to clean the loos and toilets and showers, which we're waiting to do at the moment, aren't we? And then, all being well, that'll take a couple of hours. And then what are we going to have for brunch? Not sure. I've got some bacon, Lee. Yeah. You are partial to bacon butty, aren't you? Yeah. And how was your kebab last night? It's good. Yeah, mine was really good. Really, really, really tasty. Right, we're waiting for a pitch to leave. That should have gone at 11 o'clock and it's... Uh, uh, and then people that don't go by 11 o'clock can know you're all going to say I'm moaning. But there's a reason why you should all be gone by 11 o'clock. Uh, and it's just so annoying that everybody else has managed to go on time. And there's always one in there. And everybody says, oh, you're moaning, you shouldn't moan. People have got no idea what goes on on the campsite unless you're a campsite warden. What do you call a female campsite warden? I wonder if a warden's a gender term. It's just, a, it's just gender neutral, isn't it? A campsite yeah. warden, isn't it? Yeah. Not like a campsite wardeness or anything like that. Now, what's the difference between a chef and a cook? I mean, yeah, chef is like more fancy. Yeah, but sometimes you have a male as a chef and then a cook's a woman and sometimes... It's, 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 all, it's all very confusing, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Let's, we've, let's got, we've, we've, we've got them all back. Uh, fresh mole. Fresh mole. Do you, do you remember Killer Dave? Do you know why he's called Killer Dave? Because he kills moles. Well, it's not so much kills moles, but more of a mole capture. Right, Lee, what's through the gate? Do you know what's through the gate? All right, come on then. What's, it, what's in the bin? Hey, do you think this is easy or do you think it's hard? In the middle. Do you think your dad's managed to develop a technique to make it easy? Probably, yeah. Right, let me show you the, let me show you the bin emptying technique. So we've got the bag there, all, all line, lining here. And then we'll put our, my foot there. So make sure that's lined up like that, Lee. Yeah, I'm gonna hold that camera there. Watch, watch here. Right, right, watch. And then if we give that a pull. We miss one. There we go. Goes in there. Absolutely dead easy. No aggro, no stress. Were you impressed by that? Yeah. You thought it was going to go everywhere, didn't it? And it doesn't go everywhere. I'll tell you what, Lee, next week, did you want to empty the dog bin? Maybe. Maybe. Hey, look at that. There. How easy, how easy is that? Right, so um, the reason I've just done that now is we've just had gone past the weekend and I've jumped on the bin and basically next time I jump on the bin, it won't be the top. I'm just look at all the boards. These have just come out very recently we've got the first bit of apple blossom just coming 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 forward now look at these here um spring around the corner spring 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 around the corner i think this is a crab apple tree if i remember um yeah very springy Right, we'll go and take the, uh, we'll take this over. Do you want to just carry the blue bucket now? You don't need to touch anything mucky, Lee. Just trying to make a phone call. <clears throat> trying to speak to a human nowadays is just bobbins. And everybody expects everybody. Yep. Please stay on the line and we'll be with you as soon as we can. Not everybody has got the internet. We've got the internet and we're tech savvy, but I need to speak to a utility company to say that we're changing house and you can't do it without calling them. How long will be in the queue for? So annoying, isn't it? Anybody there? 
We have lots of information on our website oh. to help you understand your bill yes. and the services you pay for. Yes. Visit unitedutilities.com and click on My Bill for details. I'm probably now going to lose an hour of my life I can't afford to lose. Crazy, isn't it? Moving home. You, 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 you call us on the phone number. Call. We have lots of information on our website. Your information on your website says call. Your, your website says we need to call. And click on my bill for details. Unbelievable. My life will never get back, Lee. Ever. Ever. Ever get back. What chance have you got if you if you if you're not computer savvy? You've got no chance, have you? All right, come on, let's carry on. Oh, I need to nip into the cottage. Hang on a minute, I need to get another load of washing done. Always a bedlam day. Cottage turnover day. Always bedlam. And we're starving hungry. We need bacon bussies on this one. Right, so this has broken on this post here. But rather than putting a new length of rope in, which we don't need, I think all we'll do, we'll move this one up, up to there, and then we'll staple that on the top. Do you want to grab the great big wooden mallet, Lee? Right, okay. That's it, watch your fingers. Well done. Keep it going. All right. Lee's in charge of the hammer. Oh, two-handed technique, Lee. Two-handed technique. I like it. Is it going? That's it. Nice, big, hard. Well done. Good lad. That's it. Brilliant. Right, there's another one on that one. There you go, Lee. So some of you will remember these used to have chicken, if you're watching previous years, these had chicken wire on them. Um, and it was a nightmare when you had the strimmer or, or mowing to try and keep the rabbits out of the, um, eat, eating the bushes. But the rabbits sort of got through anyway. So we basically, got rid of the chicken wire and I've got I've got one here still to go so these are these are budding up these are these have got some greenery but these have got some frost damage on them um, but we do need to pull the chicken wire out on that one and then I think I've got the two up at the back which is up against the edging where the rabbits are so well done Lee you absolutely superstar Hey, yeah. Nailed that. Nail, nailed it. You hammered that. Are you, are you with it? Yeah. Right, okie dokie. Right, let's put all the tools back into the blue bucket and take that over to um, the next okay. section. Oh. It's only a couple of weeks to Easter. Um, and these are okay for tents but not for camper vans will it that dry out in time okay how are, how are you with a big mallet action like you good sure. you're not sure <laughs> right. i'm sure you're going to be fine right, so this one's come down over winter and if you've not been following the vlogs on the nurseries we've got four camping pitches here tent pitches and we have a bit of a route where people can walk up and down um, to get to their pitches and obviously because of privacy and things we have this roped off just so people don't end up walking into um into the privacy area for in this case pitch number seven so we're going to rope re-rope this but i'm going to make sure i've got enough space here so i can get my mower around because we've got these little conifers here which also acts as a bit of protection so we'll um well, I think we'll do that next, Lee. Happy with that? Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. I am being mindful that we've got a water pipe coming over, so um, always be careful. Is that okay, Lee? Yep, seems all right. Happy days. Do you want me to hold this one to get you started, or do you want to hold it? Hold it. You're going to hold it? There you go. Oh, it's, it's nice to have a younger sister, isn't it? The, a campsite warden apprenticeship. Oh. Go on, Lee. You, 
Knock, knock, knock. Excellent. And then we'll do the same with this one. Oh. About there for you, yep. And then the end one, the rope had come off. So we got a, we got a stake we're gonna put in. Oh no, hang on, tragedy. Okay, we'll do a fix on this. I'll show you how to do a fix. We need the, we need the metal hammer. So that bit of rope's just broken there, but we can show Lee, I'll show Lee how to fix this. Hang on, let's need, need to put the camera down. Just about. using some um, staples on here now. That's it. Big, big knocks. Don't worry if it goes sideways, it doesn't matter. It's only cosmetic, that's, don't, don't worry. Put another one in there. And I'll go and get another steak. And get another one. And so these are, and so some spares that we've got. And this is the, uh, this is where it all frayed last time. Oh, I mean, that's come off there as well, hasn't it? <laughs> so we just hammered in and neatened up the pitch numbers down here. This all this rope's completely gone, so we I say we've got some fresh new rope um, for them. So Lee's bashing away. Well done, Lee. Campsite, what? What's it? What's it like to be the campsite warden's? Sun, great. It's great. Do you remember um, what was that advert with with the lion on? Was it Frosties? Yeah, Frosties. What was it called? Terry, Frosties. Tony, 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 wasn't it? Was it Tony? Yeah. Okay. So these are generous size pitches again. Um, if you come physical tent camping, the only um, thing with these is you, you don't have a car nearby, so you need to put your car. You bring your car down, unload your camping gear. And then you've got like a beautiful camping pitch here and all all our pitches including the tent ones all come with um electric hookups and it's got a hedge that will green up so if the wind's blowing this way it will help protect you so the minute the wind is blowing this way if the wind's blowing that way i can't turn the hedge. i've actually got a complaint last year late somebody said that the hedge was like in the wrong position because the wind was coming that way and they want to, they said the tent should be on that side but if they put the tent on that side the wind was coming that way well you can't change the wind direction can you we actually had a complaint right so a couple of things going on here so as well as giving the pitches are predefined we've now also got a space for people to walk up and down and I can get the mower down here. So if you're watching a couple of weeks ago, the reason we, all these were out was so I could get the mower up and down here now. So these are quite lush, isn't it, Lee? Um, well, that's a bit, that's a bit cocky. Hold, hold on to that one there. Look, look, look at that there, Lee. It's a bit of a bit of a bent, bent, bent one, isn't it? We need to straighten that up, don't we, Lee? There you go. Go on, give that. Go on, give that. Give give that a bit of a bash. What? I'll hold it for you. You see. Oh, it's gonna, it's, is the rope going to break? I thought the rope was going to break. Hang on. Okay, I'll do. Then I'll grab the big mallet and we'll go and do the next one. So we have got some of these out at Easter. Um, right, let's do this one now, I think. So this length of rope is completely uh, rotten away over winter. And in here, I've got, I've got some new stuff and some scissors. I'm going to get the stakes in and then uh, remark this one out. Right, do you want to bring the middle stake, get another one in and line it up with that one that's in the distance there. So bringing it in line, just coming, just coming in, in a bit from about here where I am here, I think. Good lad, yeah. Go, go, go that way a little bit. Yep, I'll do it. Oops. 
today, so it's not easy. It's, uh, it's quite, we've got an easterly wind, uh, and it's quite a, quite a cold wind, isn't it? Like not icy cold, but it's, it's on the coolest side. So we're going to um, be cutting this in a moment. A new, a new piece of jute rope going in here. So when Lee's got that stabled on, we'll cut it. And we've got another two to go. I'm quite fiddly with the rope, isn't it? Yeah. Well done, good lad. I can hear a buzzard up in the sky, but I can't, I can't see what. Okay, okay. All right, we've got definite progress. Need to cut that bit of tube broke off there. Are you happy with, are you, are you happy with that? Yeah. So that's looking a little bit more like a little, uh, looks, looks a bit, bit like a campsite now, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, quite generous um, pictures. And again, there's more things with uh, blossoms coming out and everything is just really starting to come to life. Um, so pretty, beautiful camping uh, spots these. They're, um, yeah, everybody that stays here, it's, uh, it's quite quiet and let's say four pitches and each pitch has got its own hook up right i think what we'll do we'll take the blue bucket up get rid of the scraps and maybe go and make uh, get some dinner yeah, yeah. that sound good you're gonna be are you carrying the bucket or do you want dad to carry the bucket are you gonna be all right with the bucket uh, beautiful lee should we get russia very confused by you going in and she's gonna think you're me right, go on, lee. There you go. She, she doesn't bark for you. She, Rasha barks for everybody else, Lee, apart from you. And she sees you and she, oh, she's having a fast asleep, isn't she? Right, she, oh, oh, she can smell the bacon. Hey. You're very good. It's Lee's back here with you. Hey. All right, we've got bacon going. Air fried bacon, how's that, Lee? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think Russia likes it. There is a blue chair outside, but it's in the garden. With you, you'll get rid, rid of Russia. Are you okay there? Fine. He's fine. Right. So today I've actually cooked myself because I've got no arrivals this afternoon. Some fresh bacon. It's not processed. Well, it is processed because it's bacon. But yeah, I've actually done a bacon pussy for my dinner. All fed. Right. Lee, I think we'll finish some more work on the site tomorrow and as we're able to get off i'm going to take this opportunity to um go and get some food we need we need food yeah we need food lee the campsite warden's son what was your first day like good was it good do you want to close the door lee uh, lee do you want to say goodbye to the people as you're going down goodbye <laughs>